Okay, so it's not raining today. I want to figure out where it leaked. So I MP4.2 on Audi Wolf there. We should check the solenoid valve block, which is behind here somewhere, which I don't know where it is. So the way it sits right now, we have to jack the back and then slide another jack in the front. So if you're going to jack the front left, we better block the front right wheel. Rear and front, okay? Make sure it doesn't roll down. So I think this battery is on the way out. We have 12.1 right now since I charged it to 9%, 95% full yesterday. Now it's original and it's been 11 years. I just want to make sure every time I work on anything to do with the pump or electrical stuff, I like to uh, make sure that it's charging. Yeah. Right here is 2,200 pounds. I just want to get it high enough so I can fly real jack in. So if it's not high enough, we can take this one out. Okay, so now it's just high enough for me to take the, the wheel out. Right. I should put it in jack mode. Jack mode on. Okay. Make sure it's there. The valve block is behind here. So one, two, three, four. There's one in there, but it's missing. So this is a T20. And it's hiding back here. So let's see if we spray something in here. You see a crack? Uh, let's spray something. Oh, turn the jack mode off to see if it pump anything. So it doesn't seem to have a leak over there. So, be on so the with soap water, nothing seems to leak here. Alrighty then. Just gonna clean it and put it back. So while I'm here, whoever wants to know what's behind here, they have this. 4E09072 no 277 I don't know what device that one is uh, to take this one out you need three of the 10 millimeter not to be removed if you want to replace this guy all right and this one is called solenoid valve block so check this to make sure these are not leaking because these are all vacuum hoses here. All right, what's up here? Uh, some kind of filter. Since I'm here, look at the brake pad. This is a power stop I replaced at 75,000 miles and it's still pretty thick. Pretty good. Now it's 119. Good brake pad. And it's cheap too, it's not very expensive. Okay, so this side is too low. I have to jack the back up to put the scissors check. So I'll put the floor jack in and jack this side up. This is where I jack it. Yeah. So I'll make sure we put it on the right spot. All right, so it's time for me to look in the back here and spray some soap water to find out if it actually leaks here and where. That's where the air come in now on the bottom here. Mm. You see anything? There you go. The bubble. Very slow. Look at the bubble. You see the bubble? Wow. It's very slow, actually. So, you see the bubble there? That's the bubble. Now, this one doesn't zoom very well, is it? 
That is the bubble. It looks very slow. Oh, I know why. They could have car jacked up so it doesn't have any pressure. So if I bet you I put the tires back on and lower it, it's gonna come out like crazy. So now the question is, can I put the glue all over that rim? Very slow.